Hey guys, how's it going? So for three to four hours every day, you can go check out this island by St. Andrew via the causeway at low tide, known as Minister's Island down here. It's the summer home of Sir William Van Horn, who's had something to do with the railway. sound a little bit better which is good news so I'm in St. John I'm gonna head down to St. Andrews by the sea I'm gonna go back down there and uh, hopefully it'll be a nice day we'll get some boost ported in and uh, check out St. Andrews by the sea again <laughs> St. Andrews by the Sea, which was settled back in 1783 by a loyal by loyalist after the American Revolution. This place is right near the border with uh, the United States, and it's a very, uh, very sweet spot to come visit. All right, so here's a new problem: my remote has died, and of course, the uh, charger that it takes is your. E Eon's old USB charger, and uh, well, I got a million of them at home. None of the stores that are open here in uh, St. Andrews by the Sea has any of these USB chargers. Really so, they are pretty old. Alright, so my boosted board uh, remote died. Stopped into a few spots looking for a charger cable. Found out nobody has them. Went back to the SUV and just prayed that I had one. And sure enough, I found a charger caber, cable in the SUV. of St. Andrews by the Sea here. There's a spot called Minister's Island. It was uh, suggested that I go check it out there on my last visit here to St. Andrews. You can only go there at low tide, so you have to be careful with the tide. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not 100% sure what to expect. I haven't done any research on this island, but I've been talked about quite a bit. A couple people suggested I come here. Let's go exploring. view they have from the bathhouse. Water all around, just incredible. <laughs> Thank you. 